Hello there! What is going on everybody? We have got some very cool stuff to talk about today for Star Wars Legion. With all of the new announcement, there is one big announcement that wasn't made but was soft confirmed and that is the Gungans are coming to Star Wars Legion. I say soft confirmed because I'm going to separate what, we, uh, what I'm assuming versus what we actually know. And we don't know a whole lot, but I'm going to try to piece those pieces together and hopefully it points you in the same direction that I've arrived at, which is pretty much confirmation that the Gungans are absolutely coming to Star Wars Legion. If you guys are new here to the channel, be sure to stick around, enter to win that $25 Amazon gift card giveaway, you just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. I wanna hear from you guys down below. Do you think that what I'm gonna show you here is sufficient to convince you that Gungans are absolutely coming and probably coming soon? I think they're coming in 2025. But I guess we're going to have to wait and see. So let's jump right into this. And it's going to back up to Mini Stravaganza, the very first Legion presentation. They started talking about the new edition, the new logo, and all the new, uh, the new way you're going to play the game, the new cards, the new battle cards. And in the background, uh, you know, you may be looking at all these new cards, but it's like it was hidden in plain sight that there was an image in the background uh, that you could easily have missed. That was clearly Gungans. We've got Gungans over here. We've got uh, Gungan dinosaurs. And we've got a, we've got a couple of Gungans over on this side over here. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little closer to them. Uh, you can kind of see what we're seeing here. And I was like, well, this is very interesting. Uh, this right here is actually a Famba, which is one of the uh, Gungan dinosaurs that holds up the big old shield generator. It could be mistaken as one of the Kadu, which are the smaller riding ones, if you're not, you know, that familiar. But it's definitely a Famba. And, and of course, this here is basically a Gungan infantry or a Gungan trooper. And there's a couple of them that were, you could kind of see bits and pieces of in, in that image. However, they both had the same uh, general headdress. Uh, now... The interesting thing is this same image can be seen fully colorized and in more detail uh, in the actual updated Legion rulebook. Uh, the rulebook actually at this on page two at the bottom, and you can check this out now. You can you you know you don't, you don't have to take my word for it. This is all stuff we know. This is the uh, bottom piece of artwork that takes up about a third of the page. Uh, at the bottom of page two of the up most updated Legion rulebook at AtomicMassGames.com. And this is part of their new update. This was basically one of like their flagship images for the rulebook, if it's on the second page. Uh, you, and, and not only are we seeing Gungan infantry, uh, we're seeing shields, uh, we're seeing Kadu, we're seeing uh, the Famba. So there's a Kadu up there and then with the Famba above it. So you're already getting a glimpse of multiple different types of units that Gungans could have. Now, I always thought that the Famba would be too big uh, for the game, but apparently they at least have art for them, and that could necess that could be a whole bunch of different things. I'm going to talk more about that in a minute. But this was only the second uh, sort of confirmation. We also did see uh, in one of the other images from that same panel, you can see another Gungan here in, a, in kind of a mixed unit here, what looks to be Jar Jar Binks, uh, or, or at least another Gungan who's running. And the reason I say that this is probably Jar Jar Binks is because all of the other Gungans that we've seen before have this headdress on, their ears aren't flapping about, they're a little bit more disciplined, they're a little bit more uniformed, whereas this one is not in that same uniform. Now this could be as simple as the Rebels getting a variety of different aliens and some future artwork, and Gungans happen to be among them, which is definitely possible, but it also is very likely that this is some... Uh, teaser artwork for Jar Jar Binks and of course if they are doing Gungans they're definitely going to do Jar Jar Binks at some point uh, whether or not he's in the first wave uh, remains to be seen although I would expect him to be there so now that's what we know it's a couple of art pieces that were featured in the background and kind of hidden in plain sight during Mini Stravaganza we also know that Will Schick has given multiple interviews and talked about how cool Gungans would be including uh, on my channel as well as other media outlets and so he is not opposed to Gungans and of course if we know Atomic Mass games they we know that they love stuff like this I I can promise you that they would love to do Gungans they absolutely would so now comes in the I, I don't want to call it speculation but I'm really trying to put, just put the pieces together 
So when Gungans do arrive, because to me this is already confirmation that they're coming, what are they going to look like? This image tells us an awful lot. For one, we're going to have basic Gungan infantry, but we also can see from here that not all of them are going to have shields. Uh, shields are obviously going to be like one out of every two or one out of every three miniatures may have a shield. It may just be a heavy weapon that you're able to equip. It may be just a build option for when you're building your Gungans, whether you're gonna give them shields or not. Uh, because clearly in this image we're seeing, and, and again, if it extends further, uh, there's also another guy on the far left of that same, of that same piece of artwork. But it, if indeed it is exactly the same piece of artwork, and it does look like it, we're just getting, it's a, it's a kind of a broad piece that we're seeing different, different parts of, different crops of in different media presentations. But what we can see here is that these are clearly not your Jar Jar Banks. These are not your Gungan heroes. This is probably what your basic Gungan infantry is going to look like. They're going to have different build options, and they won't be alone on the battlefield. We obviously can see Kadu. We obviously can see Famba. Now, Fambas are very large. They're the big. They have the big drums on the back. Let's 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 move forward a little bit. We're going to talk a little bit more about those. Uh, they 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 do look very very interesting. So. This is the Kadu. Uh, I definitely expect these guys to be the, the cavalry that your Gungans will ride. This also fits in extremely well with the mounted heroes and the mounted units and the new stuff that they have already announced with mounted Han Solo, mounted Luke Skywalker, and mounted General Grievous, amongst other things that are going to be coming. We are getting mounted heroes, so it certainly stands to reason that these guys would certainly come not only for mounted heroes but just to have parity with a lot of other uh, factions and their their kind of fast moving supports uh well, things like tauntauns and the tauntaun riders or your speeder bikes uh or your staps and things like that plus these were prominently featured in uh the battle of naboo so the this is just a given they're the perfect size to fit into star wars legion and they allow you some more gungan sculpts it's definitely going to show up i imagine you'll get maybe one or two of these for a unit size uh, and then, of course, you have the Famba. Now, the Famba are very, very large. Uh, these, if they do come into the game as a unit, they would clearly be a heavy. Uh, but uh, they're having this big drum on their back that is a kind of a shield generator. It looks like a drum, but it's a big shield generator, and it protects the army as they're marching across the field. I don't know if this is actually coming into the game, although I really hope it does, because that would be incredibly awesome, and it would really, really make the army look very, very cool. I seriously hope they do this, even if they have to shrink the scale down a little bit and make it sort of like a teenage and adolescent Famba, maybe not a full-grown mature Famba, but I would be fine with it as long as they can find a way to get it on the battlefield. That would be gorgeous. If not, which it definitely stands to reason it may not show up on the battlefield, because again, these guys are very, very big, um, I, then I expect this to be uh, some type of command card or something like that. So basically, uh, your 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 Gung a Gungan generic command card is like puts up the shield for a turn that protects everybody, something like that. However, I think it just works really really well to have a big guy like this and to say that he puts out a shield barrier that uh, is like range two from him and it and it's a special shield that absorbs one or two hits or some or one crit or two hits beyond everything else. You know, that is fired from beyond range two of him to a target that's within range two of him. Like, it's just, it seems so, like it would be so easy to, like, mark out that bubble. I just, I feel like it's a no-brainer. It shouldn't be that hard to work it in. Just be, it would just be really, really cool. Make him slow moving. Give him maybe no movement at all. Maybe he only gets to move, like, uh, once per game or twice per game or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I, you know there's, there's so many really fun ways to make it work, and I think it would be really fun uh, to have it, just to, to paint him and have him part of your army. Uh, even So if they don't do this and then decide that this is too big, I definitely you know, will probably want to explore a 3D printed option just to have him on the battlefield anyway, because, I mean, you, you kind of have to have at least one, right? You really should have two. You should have two on your battlefield to make it look like, you know, because I think they had like four or five at the Battle of Naboo, you know, so you should be able to get at least two. But, uh, and that would be really, really groovy looking. All right. Um, but onto heroes. Uh, well, again, we already, we already saw Jar Jar Banks, or at least a character that looks like Jar Jar Banks. Uh, I expect, obviously, to see Captain Tarples. Uh, I, I think we can get ground version of these guys as well as mounted versions of them. I think uh, mounted for Captain Tarples is a no brainer. Uh, again, if they're already doing mounted heroes, 
this is the obviously the logical connection for that. It definitely makes sense that you would want mounted heroes before you do Gungans, and because uh, you have several, you have generics, you have multiple heroes mounted. Uh, it's a it's a no brainer. It's definitely gonna happen. And and then I think also Boss Nass is another great option. Um, this would be a great option for somebody who's not necessarily a mounted hero, but somebody who is kind of leading from the rear, so not really a combat active uh, character. And I think Jar Jar Banks should be an operative and not necessarily a commander. Although you could do two versions of him. You could do clumsy Jar Jar on the ground, or you could do Bombad General Jar Jar Banks as a commander. He could kind of fill two different roles. But either one of these works. It's a great option. There's a lot you can do here. And uh, again, a lot of this stuff is speculation, but we do have the art. The art is confirmed. We've seen it here. We've seen it in the rule book. And then we also see more Gungan work here. So Gungans are coming in. If this is if this is actually a rebel unit, then Gungans are coming to more than just the Republic. There may also be Gungan sculpts that are able to cross over into the rebels. I don't know if Jar Jar Binks is going to be able to work with the rebels. Uh, that, that's an interesting one. I, I don't really see a whole lot of reason for that. I think it's more likely we may see some some Gungans show up in other rebel packs. Again, they did say that there were going to be other rebel heads, alien head sculpts and stuff. So I think they're trying to diversify the rebellion. Again, that kind of goes into faction identity a little bit. So that is what I have for you guys today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments section what you think uh, about the chances of Gungans coming to the game and uh, what else you think might belong in a Gungan battle force. Do you think we'll see Qui-Gon? Do you think we'll see Padawan, Obi-Wan, Kenobi? You know, there's a whole lot of extra things that certainly fit on the Battle of Naboo, but other things that could potentially work in with Gungans, especially if you explore the Clone Wars animated series when they did additional Gungan episodes. There's a lot there to pick apart, and it's very exciting. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Big thanks to my patrons. You guys are amazing and help make this whole channel possible. I will talk to you later. May the Force be with you. Live long and prosper. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes, and always wash your socks.